Hey, it's Jesse from Mullen Woodworks. This is the second episode of the Woodshop Studio Upgrade. If you haven't watched the first one, go do that. It's in my channel. And on this one, I'll be talking about adding some wall control, adding an armor tool bench, and also an air filtration system, so stay tuned. For this portion of the shop remodel, I teamed up with Armor Tool. Armor Tool sent me this uh, workbench. It's an assembly table that I'll be using. It has dog holes on the top. It's 25 inches by 54 inches. It's made out of thick steel, and it's a lot more sturdy than I thought, which uh, made me really happy once I put it all together. You may notice that there's some laminate flooring. I didn't have the footage of it because I lost it. Got to leave it off my phone. Um, and didn't transfer over to my computer. So I did put that down. It was some extra we had from our house remodel. This bench came with three fences and five dog hole clamps. Um, I'm really happy with it. And the adjustable feet make it really nice. So next thing I put together were these studio lights I got for Christmas. My parents got them for me off of Amazon, they're about $60. But they work pretty well for $60, it's not very expensive, but um, they come with three separate lights. So it's gonna make it a lot better for videoing and taking pictures in this studio. Also be links to Amazon for all the stuff I use. So you can go to the description and check out how much everything is there. Now these lights work really well, but the bulbs themselves, they take some time to warm up. So just know beforehand when you first turn them on, take about five to 10 minutes to really get to the full brightness. I got this WEN air filtration system for Christmas as well. And I'm really happy to have it. It gets really dusty in my shop when sanding and uh, using my table saw, so this will kind of eliminate some of that dust that flies around in the air. Use this plywood uh, to screw directly to the studs in the ceiling, and then I just used the hooks and screwed it right into the plywood. Just made it easier and I felt more secure um, to place it exactly where I wanted it. I added one more panel of wall control next to my other ones. I left the gap up on top so I could install uh, a TV and uh, I'll show you that in the next upcoming video. This wall control is going to have all my measuring tools and I think it's going to be quick and easy to access instead of having them in a drawer or something like that. So the plan was to go all the way to the wall with my wall control, but I was actually short by like an inch, so I wasn't able to add that last panel. So I just put my levels on that end and it actually ended up working out pretty good. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and another video will be coming out next week. Thanks.